Hi friends, I'm Mary Grace. Welcome to my channel. Today we are continuing on our journey of watching season two of Only Murders in the Building. Um, okay, so where we left off last time, we know that Mrs. Gambolini, Bunny's bird, says that she knows who did it. She goes, I know who did it at the end, which like I saw coming. As soon as we found out the bird can talk, I knew that the bird was going to have like some, it, there was going to be some kind of information told from the bird, right? But I've been thinking about it and I've been theorizing and I think they're maybe not the killer exactly, but I think that Alice, Carter Levine's character, has something to do with it because I feel like the murder needs to be connected to the art in some way. This like piece of art that has been like forged or like remade or whatever it is. She knew about the original artist. She knew that the that she was like trying to get away from someone. I think that that was probably Charles's dad. And I think maybe she like knew Bunny or Bunny's family or something. And then like maybe there was a fight or something about the painting and then she stole the painting and like then killed Bunny? I don't know. I don't know. It's not fully fleshed out, but I feel like she has something to do with it because why would you introduce her if she's not going to have something to do with it? If it's not going to, like, I feel like there's, it needs to go somewhere, right? It needs, there needs to be some kind of, like, end result in this relationship that uh, Mabel is starting with her. I feel like it's just got to, like, there's got to be a twist and a turn in there. And that's the only thing, like, that's the only person that I really am suspicious of right now. I don't know, I'm just excited to like find out more and figure out what happened. Like we're only two episodes in, so we have so much more to learn and so much more information to get and I know we're gonna get it. So I say let's just dive right in and get right into season two, episode three of Only Murders in the Building called The Last Day of Bunny Folger. The oh, perfect crime. Oh, so very nearly. But there's one thing the killer did not anticipate. A witness who has bravely agreed to an Only Murders in the Building exclusive. The bird. <laughs> who killed Bunny Folger? Fuck off, Oliver. <laughs> That's incredible. Talking to her as if you were Bunny. Why would I ever? Worth a shot. Mrs. Gambolini, it's me, Bunny. Oh my God, he sounds like Roz from Monsters, Inc. Wazowski, you forgot to hand in your paperwork again. If you're a murderer, stop murdering. That was actually pretty good. Bunny was killed with a knitting needle and a still missing knife. Now she was killed with the knife and framed with the knitting needle. Hey, look at this receipts from March 12th. The day that Bunny died. <gasps> what will your last day on Earth be like? It's a good mm. question. Will it be like any other? Or will it point to it being your time? As we recreate bunnies, we hope it will take us to clues, suspects, and please, dear God, not the subway. <laughs> Hi, Bunny. Nice to see you alive again. Not for long, but... I can't believe this is my last day as board president. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, maybe that, like, maybe that board president lady had something to do with it too? Well, no, because if Bunny already knew that she was not going to be the board president after this, I don't know. I want to stick on my theory of, I think it could, that Alice has something to do with it, but maybe the new, like, board president Nina had something to do with it too. Because Howard was saying that she's, like, evil. 29 years as board president. I inherited the position from my mother. You know, she warned me that part of the job would be dealing with pests. What she didn't say was, the tenants were the pests. Boys for laugh. <laughs> it's a script. It's been one of the great honors of my... Oh. I'm not gonna let those fuckers see me cry. 
So why, why is she being replaced? That's what I want to know. There's got to be something more. You know, this place is going to fall apart without you. You're going to say the same thing when Nina's in charge. Ah, I never. So what are you going to do with all your free time? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I've been looking at a spot in Boca. Oh, she's leaving? Sounds like there might be snow next week. I'll remind Lester to put out mats by the door. Mm. The bulb in the fountain needs to be replaced. I'll tell Mr. Torres. You focus on enjoying yourself. You've learned it. Okay, it doesn't feel like this is a voluntary thing, though. Florida? Really? You? Why not me? She is not a Florida person. New Yorkers and Floridians? No. Do not mix. They're saying you don't want me to go? No. Go. You know, I have a key. Maybe I'll go into your place and wear all your stuff. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Aww, they're cute. <laughs> I love that I said that right after they both just said fuck you to each other. But that's for Chip. Hello. Oh, it's you. No, I do not want to talk about the painting. Ooh. Stop calling. <gasps> it's totally her, right? It's totally Alice. It's totally Cara Delevingne's character. I feel like I'm so on the money with this. I'm gonna look a little crazy when I'm proven wrong later on, but until that moment happens, I am buckling down. Oh, uh, is your friend from yesterday joining you? My friend? Uh, another waiter took my shift yesterday and said you were with someone. Oh, no. Not coming. And not my friend. Okay, so we gotta go back from the day before her last day to figure out who she was with. Uh, it's not a big deal. What are you talking about? <gasps> it's a huge deal. My own son directing? Yeah, a play at my kid's school. Oh. Well, you have to start somewhere. Can I tell you something? You are going to be a natural because it's in your blood, buddy. This is cute, seeing the two of them together. You moving to Florida? Yeah, I would love to live somewhere warm. Oh, no, no, no. Bunny and I, we're lifers. It's probably going to be buried in the Arconia. And on hot days, the whole building will be able to smell you. <laughs> that for the food. And then... I went over 20%. Aww. That's so much money. Come on, take it. That's Get sweet. Get yourself that DJ equipment you wanted. And make me a promise. Don't let yourself only love one thing. Hmm. Because if you only love one thing, and then that one thing goes away, well, then you're left with nothing. Oh, bunny. Damn. Yeah, that's gotta suck. She put the last 29 years into this building and now... What? Florida? You wanna go to my place and get those uh, glasses now? Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, champagne is not really champagne unless it's from the region of champagne. Where is that from? The key foods on 81st. <laughs> Ooh! What? Elevator? I didn't realize how much had happened between the end, like, solving the case and the end of the last episode of season one. Funny, you're a badass. And I thought I was a cranky old bitch. Yeah, I knew Oops. I'd regret that. <laughs> All right, damn. Good for her. I mean, honestly, it takes so much to be, like, a single, self-sufficient woman in New York City. You know what I just realized? I fucking hate the heat. <laughs> exactly. You don't go to Florida. Okay. Surprise! Oh. I thought it was gonna be the murderer. <laughs> so, Amy Schumer started renovating the penthouse without all the necessary permits. Thoughts? Are we really doing business? It's your last day, Bunny. Well, we also need to sort out the Kono apartment, and now Jan Bellows, too. I'm ready to take the minutes. Bunny, I'll handle all this at the next meeting. But we can do it now. It's your last day. Stop saying that. Mm. I've changed my mind. I'm not stepping down. Sorry. Howard, what did she say? I can't do this forever. 
we should pick a new board president. And I think Nina Lin is the person best equipped to carry on my legacy. Wow. This is about you holding the Arconia hostage until you're dead. The Arconia still needs me. No, you still need it, but we can't afford to wait. The Arconia needs to be brought into the 21st century. What does that mean? Made more efficient. Oh. Modernized. Monetized. Oh. It's time to step aside. <sighs> you ungrateful bitch. Our hungry baby bumpy bitch. How <laughs> we're writing it into the minutes. You are so selfish and self-important and stuck in the past. You're a relic, bunny. And I can't allow this building to become one too. You have no idea what this job takes. <sighs> the pressures I endure on a daily basis. She's like, yeah, it's pressure, but only she can handle the pressure kind of a thing. Wow. So, that gives us a new prime suspect. Mm-mm. I don't think it's Nina. Why kill her and take the painting? The, there's too much missing. It's definitely not Nina. I don't think it's about the board position. I think it's about the painting. And, like, something else, probably. If you're celebrating, you should have proper champagne. Something nicer than your bottom shelf blend. Thank you, so good. <laughs> well, you saved the Arconia. Oh. I uh, don't think I've said it yet, so thank you. Oh. Oh, and we, we have a gift for you, too. Um, there you are, your very own merch. Oh, and it's what she was wearing when she died. Oh. Wow, already looking foxy. <laughs> wow. Why do I love her so much now? <laughs> well, thank you for the bubbly. And you get home safe now, you hear? Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, they could have invited her in. She gave them nice champagne. Did she want to join? Probably. She's alone. Oh, God, guys. She's still out there. Oh, that's so sad. This is breaking my heart. Did not peg Bunny for a whaler. <laughs> you didn't invite her in, right? Yeah. So was, is that what she was doing? In hey, Bunny. Oh, she's not there. Is that what she was doing in Mabel's apartment? We at Only Murders did not kill Bunny Folger, but there's a chance we could have saved her life with a simple act of kindness. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's the person. Oh, that's the person. Oh, what kind of clothing? That could easily be Cara Delevingne. Lesbians dress like that, okay? Just got off the phone with Jimmy down at the docks. I know who no, did, did it. Ah. Uh, of course. Bunny always life. put the Arconia first. Too late. I don't want to hang out. Oh. What the fuck do you want? No, let go of me. Let go of me. What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. I think it could definitely be it could definitely be Cara Delevingne. Lesbians dressed like that, cargo pants, chunky boots. Okay, I just need to know more. I don't think it's Nina. I think that's just like off, you know? That's not right. We're gonna get right into season two, episode four, called Here's Looking at You. Short shorts and tank tops and loving a man like me. She's a angel in flip This is so cute. Is the hat wrong? Nah. Okay, I don't care. I'm just gonna leave. What is happening? This is Lucy? Where is she? Turning someplace after a long time can be weird. Oh. And I guess how you ended up coming back and why has a lot to do with how weird it gets. 
Whoa, what? Uh-oh. Saw that coming. Yeah, it's okay. And as hard as it can be to go back, sometimes you have nowhere else to go. Oh, what's going on? Where is she right now? Because it looks sketchy. Right. <gasps> Brazos! Brazos time! Charles Hayden Savage. Look, <laughs> the dead guy got up and started clapping too. Oh, fun. If you're ready, let's have you take a seat in the wheelchair. Yeah. Wheelchair? Why wheelchair? The studio added some things for your character. <laughs> Nothing huge. A wheelchair, touch of dementia. Dementia? How old is he supposed to be? The studio needs to cover their ass, be able to write you out in case you go to prison. I'm not going to prison. <laughs> And I didn't prepare a touch of dementia. I need five minutes. Wait, 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 everything's all set up. <laughs> I need five minutes to give myself a touch of dementia. This an okay time? Lucy? That's gotta be a hair piece, right? Because that hair looked wild. What is she doing there? Lucy, what does Lucy have to do with this? Are we still gonna be focused on Bunny or is this gonna be like an entirely different storyline now? Listen, Will, I'm not gonna be able to make your rehearsal today. Look, Dad, please, I, I need some help. I'm drowning over here. I don't know how to direct. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I, I, I understand, I'm just ridiculously jammed with this case. No. I just get the lion, it will kill. Wait, Dad, you don't know I'm gonna call you later. Oh. But I liked that they were connecting before. I need them to keep connecting. That's a, that's an ankle bracelet. Oh, oh Teddy. <gasps> Teddy, I'll just get another one. Oh, don't be silly. I insist. Mm, I would get another one. I would wait. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I mean, I love seeing Nathan Lane back, but. A waiting trial. Bro's going to jail. There's <laughs> too much came out about him. How was prison? <laughs> Not a question you ask. Transformative. Okay. I don't know if you know Master Han, but he's helped me realize I don't have to act on my thoughts. Han like Han Solo? Well, I guess I'll see you around. Well, definitely. Because I'm going to fuck you, Oliver. Excuse me? I'm what? going to fuck you. I'm not sure Excuse me? when or how quite yet. But I'm going to fuck you. Do you mean like hard. oh <laughs> until one day you'll slip your nubby little fingers into one of my dips you love so much and realize you're choking. Choking? On a big heaping bowl. Don't say it. Of fuck. Okay. <laughs> Namaste. What? Did he mean like fuck you over? Or like. Actually. Maybe you and Mabel uh, can get to know each other a little bit. Uh, well, Oliver and I uh, do our adult business, uh, you know, conversation <laughs> thing in the other room. <laughs> that makes it seem gay. <laughs> Is it just me or did adult business things sound kind of queer coded? <laughs> More like old coded. Anyway, I uploaded you on the day's 100. Uh, no, what? Your story is like, just, it's really, really inspiring. She talks so fast. No, so what brings you to Charles? Yeah, so this TikToker, he made like this whole timeline of your life and then cross-referenced the various deaths, murders, etc. with the DSM-5. Adult business concluded, please? I'll give you $200. <laughs> Me too. This is, this whole episode is so wild. It's on the time, Lucy, just like the old days. Here comes the vegetables. pepper. Here comes the pepper. You know, this is how I, you know, I'm such a huge fan of terrible music. How have I never heard this? 
Love that. Wait, why is this so familiar? Oh, wait for it. This was sampled by like 50 rap stars. God, that is you! I know this! Uh, yeah, it was used by, uh, by Post Malone and, uh, and Missy Elliott. Yeah. <laughs> God, do you not wash these? <gasps> Is that blood? Is that the knife that they killed Bunny with? Holy shit! Is this the murder weapon? Hold on, this is mine. Hey, don't touch it. Fingerprints. Oh. This is my opening night gift from McBeats, my 1991 musical of Macbeth starring Vanilla Ice. They have dragged every single one of them in. Oh my God. Lucy, you cannot be involved. Yeah, you gotta send her away. I'll go to the bathroom. Okay, what is going on? She cannot be a part of this. Yeah. Who's ever doing this is clearly toying with us. I mean, if it was simply about getting us caught, the police would be banging down that door. Oh. Why are you holding this knife? <laughs> Open. Guys, listen. I am so sorry. I know that I promised Hunt. Howard, move. Howard, move. I was not truthful about the way I obtained my injury the night of Bunny's death. I knew that. Nina Lynn punched me. <gasps> and after backstabbing Bunny, I think she might have front stabbed her too. She will cut a bitch. You can use that in the podcast. Lucy, everything okay in there? Maybe give her some privacy. Just a minute. What about the knife? <laughs> Get the knife out of the ceiling. I think I know how people are getting into your apartment. <gasps> My God. Holy shit, this is so cool! <gasps> how do you know about these? I used to play hide and seek with an eye out from across the hall. Oh, right, you two got competitive. You must have been used during prohibition for moving contraband. Or for perving. Ooh, let me see. <laughs> Shocking development. You've discovered the killer's secret lair. What lies at the center of these are catacombs? Nice wordplay. Oh, uh, don't go that way. Why not? It's a dead end. You should follow me. Follow you? You're not a part of this. I am calling your mother. No, uh, she does not want to see me, not after I skipped her wedding. <gasps> the drama, the layers. I love it. This is so cool. I love this so much. It's giving House of Anubis. <laughs> Nina. I mean, this just opens up the door for so many people to be involved. What's wrong, Ben? It sounds like it's our baby daddy. I can't stop thinking about Bunny. You're doing the right thing, right? You know as well as I do. She had to go. Bunny. Once we get that board, oh, we're free. That's the president. They're, they're talking about being the president, though. They're not talking about killing her. Okay. <gasps> are they cutting some sort of deal to What are they doing? By putting a giant space pod on top? Yeah, that looked ugly as hell. Hi! Hi! We just came to say cheers on the new presidency and give oh. you a gift for your new baby. <laughs> we just wanted to see how you were doing, you know, with the baby coming right on the hills of losing your... Beloved mentor on the board. Oh God. And we've got her. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my God. She's gonna have the baby. Spill it. Her Spill water's it. gonna break. <gasps> yep. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. What is happening? Horrifying. Oh my God. What if I'm a bad mom? What? No, you won't be. But why would you think that? Is it because you've done bad things? Not I mean, you'll make mistakes. I mean, this won't be the last time your kid will scare the shit out of you, but everything's gonna be okay. And all the hard parts will be worth it, I promise. Oh, Lucy wants him to be her dad so bad. Then you were here. Oh. She was so excited to see this kid. Oh. You find her murderer and give me five minutes in a room with that motherfucker once you do. Yeah, it wasn't her. I knew it wasn't her. You get missing a really good dad. I lost mine when I was really young. 
Mm. Charles reminds me of him sometimes, I think. Tell him the truth. What do you mean? Came here for a reason, didn't you, Lucy? He knows that too. Yeah. I can't remember how old she was when he talked about her last season. She must be like 15? 16? I don't know. <laughs> She's a teenager of sorts. We got a bunch of pervs watching us. I need to board up my apartment. <laughs> what else? The knife! The murder weapon in the ceiling. Well, that's my cue. <sighs> and I know exactly where I need to be right now. <sighs> yeah, Mom and I were fighting. Again. That's why I bailed on the wedding. She knows that I don't like him. I mean, it's, it's not... It's not that he's a bad guy. He's just not... You? You know, it was really, really nice to finally get a text from you, but eight years is like... Oh, wow, that's a long time. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know I was allowed. Your mom said no contact. Well, you're allowed. Oh. Okay. Oh, am I gonna cry? This is so sweet. This is why out of the five dads that I have had, you are... Uh, you are by far my favorite. The only one that was really a dad. I'm sure. Pit, put, pit, put. <laughs> That's such a real, like, parent-child moment. That's so sweet. Well, if it isn't the greatest director in North Jersey. In Jersey. <laughs> well, you put a skinny kid in the lion suit. Hey, kids, I have a bag of Skittles for anyone who stands on the yellow brick road. <laughs> Thank you for never giving up on me, Willie. Yeah. Ah. Sweet special parent-child moments. You know, the night of the wedding, it's the same night you got arrested. And instead of going to the church, I, I tried coming here to see you. Aww. <gasps> You get the cheeses, Oliver's just- Does she know something? Oh my god, what does she know? Well, I'm glad you didn't. I wouldn't have wanted you anywhere near here that night. Oh, but she was there! She was there. Oh my gosh, who is it? She knows, doesn't she? Does she know? She has to know something. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Things seem smaller, emptier. And I guess how you ended up coming back and why has a lot to do with how weird things get. <gasps> Does she still have that video? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Girl, cover your mouth. This is a horror movie. Scenario, you do not breathe loudly. Bless you. Who was that? Who was that? No, I really came here because I'm worried about you. You don't have to worry about me. No, I do. I do. There is some real shit going on in this building, Charles, and you need to get tougher. You need to find them before they find you. <sighs> the second time recently I put someone in a car feeling like they know more than I do. I, I don't really know what that means, but... I do. Maybe you should do something about that feeling. Yeah. What if it was his dad? What if his dad's not dead? What if it was his dad? What if his dad's not dead? What if his dad's not dead and Alice is actually Charles's half-sister? And then, like, maybe she stole the painting and he killed Bunny. Who keeps calling him? So many things to unpack. Jail? Jail? Why is he a jail? Jan? Unknown caller. I need your help with something. This bitch. Hello, Charles. I've missed you. Holy shit. Oh my god. I was not expecting any of that to happen in these episodes. Holy 
crap. We still don't know anything. We still don't know anything. I'm still going to stick to my theory that Alice is somehow involved. Because even though she wasn't in these two episodes, why would she have been introduced if it's just going to like amount to nothing? Right? That's where my brain is like, there's something going on, you know? Lucy came in clutch, honestly. Damn. This was so wild. This was so intense. I wonder who that could be. It looked like the silhouette of a man, but it could just be baggy clothes. And why did he go to Jan at the end? Like, I know that she's calling him a bunch, but why did he go to her? Is it because she mo he thinks she has information? Maybe she knows so much more about his own life than he does. I don't know. There's so many layers. It's so layered. It's so complex. I can't believe I don't know. I, I feel like I don't know anything. I just know it's not Nina. But I knew that from the beginning. I knew it wasn't going to be Nina. And the knife. It was Oliver's knife, but it was put into Charles's apartment. Like, what? How long had that been there? That had been there for a while. Just dried blood, just dried bunny blood all over. We got Lucy, who we haven't like heard anything about since season one, which was really cool. I liked seeing her, especially since she's like older now and their relationship is like changed, but it's still like, cause we know that it was clearly like such an important part of Charles's life because of how much we talked about it last season and the whole omelet thing but like to see that it's still an important part of Lucy's life too even though she's like a teenager now that was really sweet and I liked that the relationships are so layered in this show and I really love that like even though it's a comedic show it's like it's so complex and it's so like beautifully written beautifully made I just I love it so much it's so good Ugh. I can't wait to watch more the secret passages it's just there's so much we like learned so much but we didn't learn anything in like solving bunny's case kind of a thing we know that bunny was with someone the day before she died and we know that somebody called bunny the day that she died about the painting so that leads me to believe that it's still something about either charles's dad who is maybe not dead, or Alice Cardo Levine's character. Because why else would she be a part of this? <sighs> I don't know. It's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching these two episodes of season two of Only Murders in the Building. I'm so excited to keep watching this show and finding out what actually happened to see if my theory is right or not because look if my theory's right i'm just gonna i'm just gonna hype myself up forever thinking i'm a genius so i'd like that to be the case but if it's not then like no harm no foul i'm no dumber than i am right now <laughs> hang out stick around i've got a bunch of fun stuff planned to watch in october with you guys so i hope you stick around i hope you join me on this journey and yeah i love you guys and i will see you all in the next one bye